Hey all, hope you all good. Welcome to my channel, Sri Bolla Pool. In today's video, I'm going to use Azure ADS uh, or Azure Data Factory to copy a file from one folder of S3 bot to another. So let's first create a storage account for it. Let's go to storage and create. Click on storage account. I'm going to use create a new. Let's give it a name. Um, demo. Serial. RG, click on OK, uh, give, let's give a name, um, SRIV, SR, AW, SRIV, Demo, Storage, let it in be the same account, let's give it the same name, let's give it in the same region, US East, let's change the redundancy to LRS. Click on advance. Um, we don't want to enable Gen2. Click on networking. Let it be public and let's click on review and create. So it's running the validation. Click on create. In the meanwhile, storage account is being created. Let's create an ADF. Click search data factory. And click on create. I'm gonna use demo slip RG resource group that we've created earlier. Let's give a name. Uh, give slip demo ADF. Get configuration. We don't want it now. Let's click on networking. Public advance. And click on review and create. Let's click on create. As our storage account has been created, let's first create a blog. Go to storage browser and click on blog. Uh, let's give a container name as input. Okay. So this is our container name. Okay. Now let's upload few files that we want to copy. Let's copy this file. Let's click on advance. Uh, access to it, let be hot only. And let's give it source. S O U R C E. Okay. Okay. Now let's click on upload. So, what we'll do, it will create a folder source. And inside it, you will have a file cases.csv. Okay. As our deployment of ADF is complete. Okay. It's created inside this storage uh, resource group. Click on open. So, this is the default interface. Okay. So, here this is the author, this is the home, this is the monitor tab, this is the manage tab. Okay. So, what we need to do, we will first begin by creating a link service. So link service creates a connection between your ADF and the component you want to use. I want to use uh, Azure, set up a connection with Azure Blob Stories. Click on continue. Let's give a name. Mm, yeah, Azure Blob Storage. Okay, let it be default only. We don't want the account key. Subscription will be for my free trial. Storage account name will be this okay we can check the connection okay here will be default only we want connection to this okay and click on create so it will create a connection with script demo storage account that we've created here okay now let's go to manage uh, first Click on create a pipeline. So let's give a name copy. So the name of the let's give a ADF. Okay, so we will use copy activity with source and sync. Source the source path where 
Now from where we'll copy the file and sync to where we want to copy. So let's click on give a name, copy file, click on source. So we can create a source dataset from here or from here. So let's first create a source dataset that we want to copy. My file is delimited only. Click on continue. Let's give a name dataset underscore cases. We will use the link services that we created as a blob storage one and and we will specify the path. It's inside the input container source folder cases. Click on OK. So it will populate. My first row is header. Um, okay. We don't want to set up a schema right now. Click on OK. So as you can see, it has been populated. Completion type is none. Our delimiter we have set is CSV. Okay. Now when we will go to here. Okay. Oh, copy ADF. Here in source, we can choose this. DS cases or what we can do. Uh, let's give a source like this name. Okay. Now let's also create a for our output path it will be csv only let's give a ds uh, cases output we will use the same okay okay and uh, we I have only put the container path. We will create one our file to copy from source path to archive path with file name cases. Okay, dot cs. We want first row as header and click on OK. So, so this is this data set links to the source path and this is this data set links to the archive path okay let's go to sync and select output from here okay we can import the schema also to check okay here you can see uh, these are the columns in our source file and these are the columns that will be our output file. So, okay. So now let's debug to check whether file will be copied from source location to output location. So it will be queued. You can check the. So it's running only. Let's check whether. Uh, our folders have been created or not. Let's go to here. Okay. So as you can see, our archive folder has been created and cases.csv has been created. So our pipeline is successful. So this is the output and this is the details. It took four seconds. Okay. Uh, we can found our, all the details here. So after we are done, we, what we can we have to do, we have to click on publish all. So what we will do, if you don't click on publish all and when we close, uh, our progress will be gone. So first click on validate all and then click on publish. So here you can see you what are the changes that you have done. And click on publish. So your publish has been done. Okay. We can even trigger it from here also. Trigger now or we can create a trigger. So hope you enjoy the video. Can you like subscribe to my channel? Have a nice day.